Hello everyone, today I would like to show you one of my decent games, I would say, on a tank out uh, T62A, um, a little history. I was raging about this tank, like, I got it, I've been playing it quite a lot, and uh, um, I, I had a bad chances of success with it. Um, to the point that I was about to sell it and just call it quits. And then I get a game like this. I pop out and then I'm like so mad I'm making it last attempt to recuperate perhaps. And I say like let's go these hills. Since uh, I'm, I'm mad because it has no depression. It, it doesn't have that come of a light tank. All it has is a uh, you know, good penetration and uh, good uh, uh, aim time, like aiming, right? And um, here we see their TVP. I'm trying to use bushes, but I realize that my uh, uh, my depression is not going to be enough. However, I still try, and I get shot. But at this point, I'm very, I'm extremely raging. I'm very, very unhappy about this tank and I'm like how the hell are you supposed to play it I completely forgot about the other flank seeing how many heavies there are I was I don't know, like I, I, I wasn't even confident or not confident and so it's going to be another loss where I'm going to underperform as always on, on this tank for some reason I, I, I find uh, the Chinese flight be way better than this guy doing the same role and then a game like this pops up yeah there t 68 here i'm wondering he doesn't seize me or something that's impossible there goes a the shot <coughs> uh, my courser said that penetration was nearly impossible how did it went through i also don't know and I decided, like, okay, let's bother the T62A. There's nothing wrong, I, I, I don't have to exercise my depression. And he's making mistakes. However, if he doesn't see me or something, I don't understand. Well, sure, behind that bush. But I pop out quite often. Yeah, he decides to run away. I was thinking a little bit and uh, see how it's even. It's it's a tie kind of. I decided to go and pursue him. Especially as the TDP also went down over there under the bridge. <coughs> well, I decide to. <laughs> I'm about to go. <laughs> Trying to see if my team can reinforce me a little. And then he comes out. So I'm racking up 2000 damage, and uh, just to keep in mind, uh, to keep you guys notified, I'm still a noob at this game. 2000 damage from this tank for me is already a lot. And I'm not sure how am I pulling out this fight overall in a game like this. Heavy seems to do fine on their side. We are getting more confidence. We got three extra tanks. Well, two now. And there goes that push I was talking about a little bit earlier. He's there. they gone. But, the, but that thing has like no armor or something, I, I am pretty much sure that I can penetrate it on every tank I have, on every tire 10 tank at least. <coughs> yeah, there goes Grill. I don't know what he's trying to do. Ram. Okay, that's a bad ram. Almost no damage taken. There, so there you go, like pretty much on a spot. This shot, how? How did they penetrate that guy? The, that uh, 
TD is uh, nearly unpenetratable up front. And I, I'm using like regular shells to help my bot fight. That was luck. I should have bought the ticket that day. Yeah, and the uh, game kind of wraps up. Heavies did well on their side. We played well. I don't know how I played it out. After this game, I had a couple of other good games, and it looks like I actually got a hold of this tank that I was sucking with badly. And I found that it's a lot of pleasure to play on a Klondike map in this tank. And there, I'm getting a bite before he is done. Um, hope you guys learned the lessons that I did in this game. And uh, don't view this tank as bad. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And subscribe. Have a good day.